I don't know if we can see out there, but we got cops chasing two fellas running across the field. Probably not going to end good for them. There's the police cars. Looks like the two individuals. Laying down. Looks like the cops are on them. Where are you going to go out here in this wilderness? I mean, it's flat. Hard for me to kind of see here. Looks like the sheriff's deputy is. Oh, he threw a big old chunk of marijuana off out in the field. That's what I seen him throw a while ago. Probably get on the ground. Real life. What you gonna do when they come for you? Huh. That's pretty crazy. Not sure what's going on now. Can't really see. You got a spot in the scope. Oh. Like he's being arrested. I think I got to get the bad guys. <laughs> oh, crazy. Just another day in the life of cruising with Jesus. Um, since we're rolling here, I'm going to go ahead and make a video. Um, we'll fill the disciple here. That is uh, something you don't see every day. You know, two guys. Got pulled over what it looked like. I was up on my tank gauge in the tank when I seen them get pulled over and then as I come out of the field or off that location, I seen there's like four or five cops around that car and then I seen two cop cars take off and I thought well, must not have been eventful and then I seen two guys out in the field running and then it dawned on me what, what was going on. It's pretty cool. Um, so I'm cruising with Jesus. Um, this just being off the top of my head, you know, um, I, I was like that once, um, I was like those two gentlemen there, um, running from the law, um, and the fact that I was running from Christ for a long time, he put a calling on my life, and he ain't even given my wife a, a vision of me preaching one day, and which we used to all make a joke out of that. I've, I've talked about that on previous videos. Um, and I seen them gentlemen there running. It just kind of reminds me, you know, um, of how I ran from from God and His authority and His sovereignty over my life. And of course, in this case, it's it's quite different, you know. Um, the reality, um, as I watch them guys, you know. Um, you know, we could equate that to because I seen the one guy he threw, it looked like a big old cow turd, <laughs> what it looked like. I thought, what's he doing? Uh, dawned on me. He had probably had a big chunk of of drugs, you know. And it looks like the police are still out there 
um, searching in the field as they march these two guys back over there and you can see all the police vehicles that are lined up on the road there um, I don't know if we can see exactly the police officers I don't want to interrupt their investigation or anything I think I'm doing anything crazy out here other than checking my leases and seeing something cool and, you know. is it cool though I mean these guys, these guys are going to um, put these officers lives at risk put this put their own lives at risk for running I mean in, in essence you know so but when I equate that to my own personal life and walk with Christ um, I, my life was at risk every day that I, I refused to hold true to to God's calling upon me and that goes for each and every one of us. Um, you know, sometimes as I'm driving around out here, and that's why I started this this YouTube channel, of Cruising with Jesus, you never know what you're going to see out here. You know, I never know what I'm going to run up against whenever um, I'm out here like this. And it looks like they have another young lady in custody. Um, quite interesting is I always like watching uh, the police police shows on TV you know um, cops and, and whatnot um, how often do we root for the bad guy you know, run dude run you can make it no you can't you're not gonna make it and it's the same thing when we go it's the same thing with God you can run all you want you can try to be as bad as you can be so God won't want you no more but at the end of the day he's pursuing you he's going to get you um the adage that the holy spirit is a gentleman and and um he'll only um, do what he'll only be a gentleman and come into your life if you allow him is ridiculous sorry i'm trying to see what my my phone's doing here hope we're not on pause I don't think so anyway um, so when God begins to pursue us um, how does that work out for us when we take off running um, as we see over and over again yeah you might get by it you might get away for a time like those guys there I don't know what they're thinking this is just this flat and desolate I mean, you can run for weeks and I can still see you with a spotting scope. Um, you know, you're not going to get away here. Um, but panic sets in and when you seem to do silly things under, under duress. I think that's the same thing as I felt as I, be, as I realized Christ was closing in on me. And he was going to attain my life for himself um, that I, I just began to wear out and tire out and just like I seen with those guys there I don't know if we can see it on the film here um, but they just bent over and stopped and it's like okay I give you know we get that point with Christ we have to um, we get to I did when I got to that point where it's like okay I give you win, Lord. Um, do what you will. Do what you must. But I'm tired of running. And so I quit running, and he, he caught me, and he arrested me, and brought me into himself, into his kingdom, um, which was the best thing that ever happened to me. I know I've talked to certain individuals who have been um, incarcerated and put in the penitentiary and they will tell you um, that that was the best thing that ever happened to them that had they have not been caught and arrested uh, they would have surely died on the streets um, of physical death you know, when we go to talking about Christ we have a spiritual life and death and if we continue to refuse his calling 
we can get callous to the point where, you know, just like the drug addict, he gets so callous to the point that, you know, what he's doing is not even illegal anymore. It's just a way of life. We begin, we get into the same situation with our sin and it just becomes a way of life. And, you know, in our own minds, we justify it and dignify it and however means, you know, that we do um, in our own, in our own mind. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, it's far from the standard of even the culture and especially of God. Um, so, I don't know, I just wanted to kind of throw that down, lay that down as, as I seen um, that unfold right there. Um, and how I never know when I leave the house what I'm going to come across out here. You know, some things are are quite interesting that people just would not believe if I told them. Um, some things are monotonous and boring, you know. I go day in and day out, I don't see nothing different. It's the same, same routine, same route, same everything, day in, day out. Um, but then all of a sudden, when I least expect it, there's something interesting that you don't just see every day. But it's the same thing with Christ, you know. And I, I looked at that. I hear people say, well, "I don't hear, I don't hear God calling. I don't hear God talking." Well, there's days goes by I don't either, you know. Um, it doesn't mean He's not. It either means we're we're so wrapped up in our life that we're not paying attention. Um, just like the drug addict, the drug dealer, um, the alcoholic, the thief, whatever the case may be, is so wrapped up that they just don't see the situation at hand until boom in one moment it comes crashing down on them as I go through life you know I try to look at every aspect through the lenses of, of scripture and through the lenses of, of the spiritual life that I'm walking and I try to look at it in a point where how can I parallel what's going on in my daily life with what God has in the scriptures and his, his written word. And most often times, just like that, I can look at it and, and relay it to a, a specific message or a point. Um, I spend a lot of hours out here just me and, me and Jesus in this truck, listening to his word, you know, stopping every now and again, and I read his word, uh, doing different search, uh, studies and researches on what, what others like me have done in the past that were recorded and written down in his word, um, how they got it right and how they got it wrong, and what I can do to live and learn um, by it. And within the last six months, we've been going through the Old Testament, searching out Jesus in the Old, Te Old Testament. And the more we look for him, the more he's revealed, and the more he reveals himself, um, more and more and more, um, every time we look. Same thing with going through our daily lives. If we begin to look at our lives through the lenses of Scripture, our lives begin to parallel many, many accounts of the Bible, and we can learn and make our choices based on that. Um, so at the end of the day, God pursues us, and depending on our stamina, um, how far we can run before we finally just run out of breath, air, strength to keep fighting against it and, and finally surrender uh, to him. So if, if you're out there and you haven't felt that calling, it's maybe not because the calling hasn't been, been given to you. Maybe you just aren't listening. Maybe you aren't looking for it necessarily. I pray that you would, you would diligently seek the Almighty Creator, Yahweh Elohim, and see what He'd have for your life. Because 
eventually he's going to catch up to you one way or another um, and we all will stand before him at the judgment seat now whether we uh, we stand behind Christ and he goes before us as our advocate or we stand in strict opposition of Christ and we incur the wrath of God that's a uh, that's a point we need to look at. Either way, we're going to stand at judgment or fall at our faces, rather, probably, um, as I read other accounts of those who have stood in God's presence, been in God's presence, how they uh, pretty much were on their face. So think about that. Let this be a blessing and an encouragement to you. Um, didn't do the normal intro as I normally do. This was kind of spur of the moment. Uh, first, I was just going to film a few seconds of them chasing them two, two dumb dumbs across the field. And then I thought, you know what? Um, let's turn this into, let's allow God to minister something from this to us. Um, as most oftentimes God does with me on many things so let this be a blessing blessing and encouragement or frustrate you to go look up what i've said um, and see if you can find me an error of course that is always open and on the table um, in scripture if you can find what i say in error through scripture alone um, your opinion has no validity no validity um, as far as uh, my position and my stance on how i see my relationship with Christ and our walk with Christ um, but through scripture uh, I'm always open to being shown that I may be an error so y'all have a blessed day um, be encouraged if you like this video uh, click like and subscribe to the channel and go check out some of the other videos I have on various subjects um, it's just it's a new channel, Full Field Disciple, and cruising with Jesus as I go through my day at work. And, you know, certain certain things come up on my spirit that I feel the need to share. So y'all have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Keep cruising with Jesus.